Hey, how you doing guys? Uh, I'm sorry I haven't done, uh, I'm probably about a week or uh, two behind in, in my videos. I've recently had uh, the last two weeks uh, some family come and visit, so a little bit busy with that and with work as well because um, we actually filmed some promos for my company I work for, which I'm going to be um, talking about here for today's topic, which is kind of shooting in bright sunlight. Um, and often when you're filming or shooting or whatever, um, you can have adverse conditions. It could be, um, low light, it could be bright sunlight, it could be a bevy of things that make it more difficult, uh, to film. Um, of course I have talk, I, I tend to shoot a lot in low light conditions, indoors mostly, um, where there's not much light, um, but this was different. Um, this is probably only maybe the second time I've shot in bright sunlight as much as this. So I did some testing beforehand before I um, actually went uh, and filmed. Uh, we were there for three hours filming uh, for the uh, promotional video. So um, uh, to go more into it, um, you know, um, I, I went to my company. I said, hey, uh, you know, we do all these things, you know, uh, promotions and stuff. Why don't we film it and be great for advertising, put up on uh, social media and everything. Might get more people interested in donating or whatever, um, interested in what we're doing. And uh, the vice president of marketing was uh, really excited about this because, um, you know, they, they take some pictures from, a, you know, their, their smartphone and stuff and, and use that. So, um uh, we we planned this uh, a couple of months in advance, um, but I knew the conditions was going to be uh, be during uh, noon time, and the, the weather uh, for the last few weeks was um, no cloud cover, so it was bright sunny conditions, which I knew was going to be a problem because the uh, one time before I shot in bright sunlight, uh, a lot of things were blown out. So I decided to do some testing to see the best way to approach this which I'm glad I did, it really helped out in the long run. So I, I decided to use my Canon C100 camera again um, because it has built-in ND filters, actually three, uh, three of them, um, ND1, ND2, and ND3, depending on uh, how much you need. So basically, um, I also shot in a native ISO of 850. I maintained eight, uh, the ISO 850 at all times during the shoot. Uh, utilizing something called the Push Auto Iris, which maintains the correct exposure. Um, that's how I maintained uh, ISO of 850 because I wanted 12 stops of dynamic range because we're going to be shoot. Uh, I end up shooting in Canon C Log or Cinema Mode because that will help with the bright shots that get overexposed in post. I can actually uh, get a lot more latitude and in correcting the overexposure, which uh, helped out immensely. So basically, uh, I set I set the camera up to see which ND filter I was going to use. Um, and so I did testing it with the, using the ND filter number one, with um, of course the ISO of 850, um, and using the push auto iris aperture was, was around f22. Using ND filter number two. Um, F uh, aperture was at uh, f14 and ND3 filter uh, we had an aperture of 7.4 so I knew I was probably going to use ND2 or ND3 I finally chose on using ND filter number two um, I'd say about one third of the shots were in the shade even though there was bright sunlight all around so it was going to be a little bit of variable as far as the aperture and I didn't really care about shallow depth of field so I didn't really care what the aperture was set for uh, when I used the push auto iris because I was uh, mostly worried about the correct exposure. Like I said, uh, things blown out, too bright, uh, and the clouds, and some of the clouds were actually overblown, but using um, some of the post editing, it worked out great. And this was between uh, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. with no cloud cover and bright sunlight. And boy, that was hot as well. Um, the temperature was very hot. Um, so 
Yeah, like I said, I decided to use the uh, ND filter number two at uh, f-stop around f14, depending, of course, if I was in the shade or in bright sunlight. The aperture was a little variable on that. It worked out wonderfully, by the way. Uh, way. I imported all the footage into the computer, uh, put a basic LUT uh, for the C-Log uh, to give me basic exposure, and went from there. And so and there was, I think two shots were particularly overexposed. Uh, the rest of them were actually quite, uh, worked out quite well. So on the uh, two sections, I, when I raised down uh, exposure to a more usable level, it worked out perfectly. So uh, great choice, and I'm glad I did some testing. Of course, camera choice was key as well. Um, not only does I think the Canon C100 work great in low light, but it works phenomenally in bright sunlight as well because it has those built-in uh, ND filters and that's kind of one, one of the reasons why I like Canon's uh, whole cinema line because they do have utilize all built-in ND filters which are real glass by the way they're not just electronic or anything like that um, so of course it all depends on what camera you use um, uh, if you don't have something that has built-in ND filters um, you can buy them separately in a set and then screw them on the end of the uh, camera lens uh, of course on some camcorders if you uh, if you do have manual controls you can set the um, audio or the video gain down some perhaps or um, to compensate for the brightness as well or if you're using a DSLR you can stop down on the aperture um, to uh, help control some of that brightness. Um, so I wanted to give you an idea of some of the uh, trials and tribulations of shooting in bright sunlight. But uh, like I said, uh, I think setting things up, doing testing prior to the shoot is really um, key. So if you're thinking of shooting in bright sunlight or low light situations or whatever, you know, you think you may run into problems, you probably need to do testing first. Uh, it worked out well for me. And um, all right, see you guys later. And hopefully we're going to have some more videos coming out this week. Uh, till then, uh, thank you and see you later.